Hey guys, this is Samsung Sandbar HW Q60 Sandbar. This Sandbar is 340 watts audio power with Dolby Atmos and wireless subwoofer. What we want to do is to show you how to connect this Sandbar to your TV using HDMI cable. HDMI cable is not included in the packaging. Currently, this Sandbar is connected to this TV using optical cable. But I want to show you how to hook this up using HDMI cable. So now we're going to switch the Sandbar off and also switch the TV off and unplug the cable. So take the HDMI cable, go into HDMI to TV e -Arc. Okay, push the cable inside and it's in. So take the back of this cable. So connect the cable to HDMI into e -Arc. So connect the, ca the cable is HDMI to in e -Arc. Now the next thing to do is you need to plug in the sandbar, plug in the TV and also plug in subwoofer. Okay, so the next thing to do is you need to switch the TV on and also switch the sandbar on. Okay, and the sandbar is on. You can see showing us HDMI 2 now available. So go to your TV settings. If you scroll down to the sound, it's showing us now HDMI add device. So this sandbar is connected. If it is not HDMI, once you scroll, scroll to the sound, you need to select on the sound then you need to scroll to the side and look for where it's written HDMI ARC. But this soundbar, once you put it in DGN, it will pick up the connection you set. You can see showing us, showing us ARC. So it's connected. Now the next thing you need to do, you need to go to the TV settings. Scroll down to the sound. Showing us now HDMI ARC device. So you need to select on it. Uh, the if you are connecting this using optical cable, so you need to scroll to the side and look for where it is written optical cable. So this is how to hook this up. It's a good job. And when it's in HDMI, you can control the volume using the sandbar and TV remote control. So you keep an eye on the volume here. Showing us now TV ARC. This year is a great year. Thank you very much indeed. And stay blessed. Thank you.